Hello, how is everybody today? It is time for a little mantra path guide for you. This was requested by Skylander Dude. He wanted to see a path guide for Bushwhack. So I haven't done it yet. I am glad to do it. If you want to see a path guide, it can be a character from Spyros, from Trap Team, anything. Let me know if I haven't done it yet. I will gladly do it. I'll just put up 15 videos, 15 path guides in one day. Go crazy. So I have the time to do it. And this is a good time to do it because I'm not going to be buying anything next week or so. So this is the time to crank out stuff like this. All right. I'll tell you this right off the bat. Bushwhack is one of my top favorite trap masters for sure. Maybe top two, maybe top three. At first, I liked one path better, but I might have changed my mind. They're both good. He's one of those characters that they're both really good. That's one of the reasons I like him so much. And he has the best name in Skylander history. How can you not laugh? Anytime you hear the word bushwhack. <laughs> Anyways. He came in legendary form and regular form. This is legendary. I usually don't like the legendary, but he looks really, really good. Especially his figure more than how he looks there. But his figure looks really good. So... He's pretty much all about his axe. You can also throw acorns. They don't do a ton of damage. Like 20, I'll show you that in a second. He has a headbutt, which you really don't use that often. This is a great upgrade. When he swings his axe, thorns leave damage after he's done swinging. So if you just swing, 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 it's a lot of thorns. All right, this one is on the top path. His axe does a lot more damage on this path. The combos are not bad, and the cool thing about him is this. All his combos are one path. There's not one path for one combo, and one path for another combo. They've done that lately. They've taken up almost every upgrade with a combo. So that's good to see him combine them. Then you get an upgrade to Axe. And this move, which is really cool. I'll show you all that. Then his best, best, most fun, probably the coolest soul gem ever is ever. I can't. Eh, it doesn't work is timber jump and hold x and he cuts down a tree it's great every time it probably is my favorite move all right there's his damage he does 98 20 20 20 and you'll see that is a significant increase over the bottom path upgrades. So let's do some combos. That's just XXX. Here's XXY. Okay, I have no idea what he did because he ran into the wall. But... Oh, he does like a headbutt and a... But this is probably the only one I use. XXB. The cool thing with XXB is this. You hold it down, and this is one of his upgrades. I have no idea how much damage that is, but it's a ton. It doesn't take too long, and it's easy to do. So if you've been around, you know I really don't like... Combo, attacks, or upgrade paths, especially when it's 
when they take up every upgrade, but the fact that there's only one upgrade, you get a better axe. And one of the upgrades is this insane move. Probably, if you slowed it down, that's probably like 2,000 in damage. I would just estimate. And here it is. The move of all moves. <laughs> 440. There it is. It's fantastic. It's just unique. And you know we're in Trap Team, so it's hard to be unique with characters anymore. So that is the top path. Show you the bottom path. And originally, this is the path I like more. First thing, his antlers look five million times better. Showing signs of growth. See, look at those anthers. antlers. So there's the upgrade. New armor. You take reduced damage. And you do extra damage with your headbutt. And then this upgrade is you hold Y and it does like a dash. And then a headbutt. But this is why I liked this path better at first. is because you hold X and it just regenerates health. It's fantastic. So, I'll do his running, running dash headbutt thing first. Bam. I can just do it in place. And, oh. There you go. You can just sit there and regenerate health for as long as you want. It's fantastic. The only thing is you can get hit while you're doing that. I think you can get hit while you're re regenerating health. I thought when you read this, it sounds like you can't get hit when you're doing this, but I've gotten hit. I know for sure when I've been healing. So if I had to choose which path probably is the best. Damage wise, it probably is the top path. If you want to regenerate health, you care about health, say you're down to like 200 health, you've been getting hit, you just want to regenerate health, you don't want to replace your character. All you have to do is run away and just regenerate your health. So like I said, they're both very good and it's really tough to pick. But I give the slight edge to the top path. So there you go, Skylander Dude. My favorite path for Bushwhack is the top path. Just by a nose though, it's really close. See how I'm regenerating health and they still hit me?
All right, I'm going to quit. We're going to put legendary on. You see the difference. He's just really good. Max to the max. So like I said at the beginning, if you want to see a path guide, you want to know what my favorite path is for a particular character, happy to do it. If I already put it up, I'll let you know. If not, we'll do it. Give you a little shout out. And we'll move on to the next one. Like I said, I got time. to the max Check it out. Bra dreamed up some Just going to show you his combos. And then we'll be done. How long have I been doing this? 11 minutes. Fred will occasionally drop a clone spell. If an enemy gets into this circle, they'll start cloning. All right, just just a few minutes. Few minutes. Stick with me. Alright, I'm gonna do the tree thing one more time. Oh, no. Let me do the tree thing one more time, then we'll call it a video. Uh. Oh, I didn't do it! Alright, there was Bushwalk. Like I said, let me know. What is your favorite path? And he is, like I said, one of my top, top trap masters. Have a great day. Tomorrow, I'm going to show you my custom Sonic Boom. I don't think I've done that yet. If you want me to do a question and answer video, as recommended by Striker Hero Camo, I need questions that I can answer. And that's it. More requests for favorite path guides, let me know. Adios.